It's culture. Uh, I feel no like I've, I feel like I've walked into the, the, the debating room at the Chicago Theological Seminary. Um, all this talk about God this, God that, the Bible says this, the Bible says that. Oh, are, are you on our side? <laughs> yeah, I am. I am. I couldn't agree more with Mr. Mr. Duncan in his in his statement that the government should do less. But I'm wondering how you get how you square the circle. I'm really asking these guys over here because they're the obviously the enemy. Um, <laughs> to square the circle between between accommodating the role of the individual and individual rights with the role of the state to impose majority determined, majority dominated uh, standards of definition, standards of behavior, standards of whatever. I agree there's a bright line there between what is what is permissible and what isn't permissible. But it seems to me as a libertarian, uh, the conservative or the right has completely forgotten about the role of the individual in this particular instance. And I'm wondering if you guys see any degree of hypocrisy there as well. Um, uh, question. Yeah, I'm, I think I think I understand the question to be that um, uh, sort of sympathetic with uh, Mr. Duncan's comments that the government is not the solution to all of our problems, and it, it certainly isn't. Right? We have a tradition in this country of limited government, of libertarianism. Um, but one of the basic reasons for founding a government is to protect individual rights. This is what every libertarian wants: individual rights. Someone can't harm you. They can't impose their will on you without your consent, right? So this is what our bills are trying to do. Don't fire me just for this reason. I think the civil rights movement and the feminist movement would be quite astonished by the notion that women should um, simply work it out with their employers, and so should African Americans, because the government, after all, is not the solution to all of our problems. I'd like to... I'd like to also um, come back to uh, a theme that we just heard, which is that um, innate characteristics are protected, but uh, choices are not. Um, this is a consistent position, and I applaud you for responding in a consistent way, but it is not the law in our land. Um, we protect religion in this country, as we've mentioned earlier. Religion is not innate. It can be uh, chosen, and it can be changed. Um, I'm sure that you would respond that that's in the Constitution. Religion is a constitutionally protected right, and it is. The problem is, so is homosexual behavior. Five years ago, the United States Supreme Court said that it is none of the government's business what we do in our bedrooms. This is a principle I would think that Mr. Duncan would applaud. And they said that gay people have the right to engage in private, consensual, intimate conduct just like heterosexuals do. Until five years ago, it could be a felony, and it was in Utah, and you could be thrown in prison for, I would guess, I think, 10 years. But, the, but excuse me. I, I, you know, it's, I've, I've always wondered when the appropriate time would be in um, my career here at Utah to come out, and I think it's probably the moment. I'm not homosexual. Right. I'm heterosexual. He's straight. So there it is. And, uh, and I think, uh, we've I, got 30 I, seconds left in your time. Yeah. Um, and that's just a way of saying that life is a little bit more complicated than you might assume. But just the idea you'll get plenty of action reduces it down to this behavior, and that is not what it's all about. It's, it's, it's so broader and deeper and visceral and um, biological and um, um, mental. So what, what is 